Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I'm starting to wonder how many times I'm going to have to re-record this intro because my camera keeps like screwing up on me and it's really starting to get on my last nerve. On a happy note, today I am here with you with a new brand. So you know how Facebook and like Instagram and stuff, they, in they like insert like stuff that they think you might be interested in because people have like paid to put it in your face. So I get a lot of that. Like obviously I like makeup and, and hair care and, and fashion and that kind of crap. So I get a lot of it. Well there's one brand that kept popping up that really caught my eye. The brand is Carity. That's like their, what they look like. That's their um, font or however you call it. Okay lighting, thank you, still here. Um, and I'm kind of excited. I went on their website and I looked around. There were like, they have people, I don't know if they're influencers or whatever, but you know, oh, click here to like watch YouTube videos about our brand and you're going to love it. And I was like, mm -mm. I don't want anybody else telling me that I'm going to love it. I'm going to decide if I love it. So I didn't watch any videos. I have no idea like what people say about this brand. So I thought we would dive into this box. Oh, oh girl. Your girl got another box of stuff to go through today. So we are going to go through it. We're going to talk about it, talk about the brand, all that good stuff. So let's get jumping. So basically, I took the glasses off. Sorry about the glare. I forgot they were on my face. <laughs> That's how you know you're a glasses person when you forget you're wearing them. But I went to the Carity website, and on there it says, The vision was humble. Provide handcrafted, high-quality cosmetics and tools at a price the rest of us can afford. And then it kind of goes down, talks about the money, and um, looking beautiful shouldn't leave wallets naked. That's a good. That's a good line. And then down under Meet the Founder, it says, Carity was created in a basement by our father, Isaac, not too long ago. After a trip to a beauty counter at his local mall, he was frustrated by the extremely high price point on a good quality eye pencil his wife had requested. This is how Carity was born. Their mission statement, or I, I don't know what you call it, but it says, Carity is our destination for high quality, your destination, <laughs> not theirs, mine. Destination for high quality luxury cosmetics at a price that's fair. Built from the bottom up, we handcraft, set, and deliver all of our products in-house directly to you to provide makeup that makes you and your wallet feel good. Can I talk about for just a second, by the way, about how they sent this? Like, every single palette, everything I ordered was sent in these individual, like, taped situations. Like, I'm so, I'm happy about this, because the whole box, like, every single item. And I know what you're thinking. No, it's not that much. The only things that were not um, individually wrapped were these tiny little guys, their individual pan eyeshadows, which I don't blame them because they're already kind of wrapped in a sense. Um, so, and I picked those up to go with the travel chamber. I'll get into that in just a second, but let's start unwrapping some of these. So the travel chamber is this, which this is the Unicarton super pretty metallic -y writing. And then the carton itself actually mimics the carton, or the, good lord, the product itself mimics the carton. There we go. Basically, this is like their magnetic, like, Z palette. Um, it holds 28 of the assorted eyeshadows, which are like these tiny, these tiny little guys. Um, and this just, again, like a magnetic little thing, like this. No mirror or anything, just says Carity. And then this is where they go. The reason I wanted to try it, I should say, is because um, there are times that you've tried, like, different eyeshadows from different brands and I don't know if I'm the only one but I feel like there are times that the pigmentation you get out of like a regular eyeshadow palette varies from what you get like in a single shadow so I figured we would test out a couple of their shadows you know swatch them take a look at them and see if they're good or whatnot so these single shadows they come obviously in this little guy right here it says Carity you see a little window of the color you pop it open on the back just a normal guy pull it out and it's actually kind of wrapped again. That's still not the pan. You open this up, because there's like this little plastic protector here, and then you pull out your pan. So these are what their pans are. These are 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 US ounces a piece, which is pretty standard, if anything. I actually thought they looked a little bit big, so I was pretty excited about that. So here are the seven that I picked up. They're super pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, I picked these up in the shades Turkish Delight, Supple, Pop and Jay, Patina, Naughty Girl, Moonshine, Daisy Chain, and, oh, that's it, that's seven. I can't count. We'll probably play with them a little bit later, but until then, I think we should at least address these shimmery looking guys. What? Um, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, Pigment, let's just calm down a little. We're giving Paige a heart attack. Okay. Well, 
I think pigments there. I don't want to get too caught up on this stuff. I want to I want to move through it relatively quickly. So the next item I picked up is the highlight palette. It is their first collection palette. Here they are. None of their stuff does come with a mirror, which is in my opinion kind of a downside to it. Um, but again, price points and stuff, which I don't think I went over prices. Let me see if I can pull up my order so I can give you prices on how much stuff was. So, okay, each one of those single pan shadows was $4.50, which isn't horrible. I thought those ones were a little bit pricey, but they're also a little bigger than I thought. So I'm kind of like on the fence about how I feel about those. Um, the travel chamber to put them in was 15 bucks, which is actually really cheap. Um, there's a one on ColourPop right now um, that's like their magnetic palette, and I think it's 10 dollars and it only holds like 15 shadows and so that's double the size for five more dollars and it's cute and pretty and the packaging is great so that's actually a pretty good deal in, in my opinion um this is the highlighter palette this is 25 dollars and that catches me up i think to where we are right now whoa okay so mm -hmm. what do you see other than oh wait you can't see because you're blinded are so pretty I think they pick up better back here okay let's see how do we blend oh wow they blend out so nice like it's just so I'm just gonna blend them all together I'm gonna have like a giantly shiny hand wow that's really pretty I'm gonna be glowing like a goddess today I'm actually getting ready I'm going to a concert a friend of mine is performing and I'm pretty much a hermit like I don't ever leave my house if I can help it you know this hermit don't leave her shell so hermit crabs live in a shell right long the the moral of the story though is that I'm leaving the house and I'm like really nervous about it <laughs> And there's going to be like a large crowd and I'm like extra nervous about crowds and I'm just like, oh God. so how do I, how do I handle my stress? I just film a YouTube video. It makes me feel better about myself. Let's move on. For the eyeshadow palettes, I picked up two different ones. I picked up their smoke eyeshadow palette and their nudes and rudes eyeshadow palette. And what's cool about these, ooh, get rid of that. That's a disaster waiting to happen. So this is the smoke palette. You get lots of like bright smokable colors, which obviously is the point. So that's the smoke palette. And then I also picked up the nudes and rudes palette. And when you see it, you'll be like, oh, I understand. You're a basic B word. And of course you love this palette. Oh my good word. Like it's every nude color in like shimmery and like lid color, crease colors. Like, oh. I'm dying. I'm so excited. It actually is really hot in here. Hey, air. I know you're loud, but feel free to kick back on because it's warm. But anyways, I picked up both of these. Like, obviously, you could have or I could have created a look with either of them, but I just wanted to really try them both out and kind of see. So here's the smoke and then the nude, nudes and rudes. And I believe it's 21 shadows, right? 21 highly pigmented shimmer and matte shadows. And they're so pretty. And I love the packaging on these. Like, they're sturdy. I feel like, you know, it, they would travel pretty well. Um, again, no mirror, so you're definitely going to need to have something to that effect. Um, not having a mirror for me is kind of a big downside because, like, had there been a mirror right here, it would have been bomb. But I also realized that that could have added, like, you know, $6 to each palette, which... Let's talk price. Each of these palettes were $29, which if I'm being 100% honest, I was really impressed by because I know I've talked about it before, Urban Decay palette right here, okay? And everyone knows Urban Decay palettes. These things are like, what, $54? So that's almost double what one of these is. You get half shadows. You get almost half as many. This has 12, these have 21, and this is almost double the price. So, but again, it does have a mirror. It does come with a brush. These don't have either of those. However... I still feel like for what you're getting, these are going to be a better, I mean, don't get me wrong, unless the shadows suck, but if these shadows are anything like what I swatched with those blue ones, I have a feeling that I'm going to be like shook. So let's just take a look there, just because, you know, I want this video to be four hours long. Oh, and I really love too, by the way, that they put the shade names like right under the actual shade, because I get so irritated when they're like... Like, the, that's the one thing I can't stand about, like, the Natasha Denona palette and even the um, Jaclyn Hill palette, how it came on that separate card. Girl, I already lost that card. I don't even know where it's at. So it's like, well, I guess I don't need to know what these shade names are, but whatever. I want to check out a couple shimmers. Oh, girl, you know I'm coming for that serpenty lime looking green right there. Oh, oh, I am shook. Holy crap. These things are so soft. Obviously, that's only like a small amount of the shadows, but what? 
I definitely do, like, I'm going to be interested to see how the mattes go on because they almost look a little chalky, but I don't think, and like, look how much pigment's left over. Like, these things are like stainingly pigmented. Wow. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be fair to not look at a couple of the nudes in Rude's palette, now would it? That just wouldn't, that wouldn't be very fair. Look at that second row. Look at that one. Oh my word. I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay. We have to move on because there's still one more thing I have to talk about. And then I've got to start putting these on my face or I'm going to miss the concert, which was like the whole reason that I even was getting ready today. So the last item I picked up is the blush and bronze kit. Look at this. Holy shnikes. Don't know if I'll be able to use these two bronzy colors or not um, because they're both shimmery, which I think is really kind of weird. Maybe that's, maybe that's just me, but like, I don't want my whole face to be glitzy. Oh, price. This palette is $24, which if you think about it, you pay more than that or almost that or just about that for one hula or like one of the California blushes or something from Benefit. So if these are good at all, look at like how much you get for the price. And just so you guys know, I actually did use a coupon for this order. It was give me 10, G-I-V-E, M E 10 one zero and it gave you it gave me 10 bucks off so I was pretty happy about that moving on I need to start putting some of these on my face I'm sure you guys are sick of this already so let's start I am stupid excited right now <sighs> so I think it's just a safe bet to start in the nudes and roods palette we're gonna go in with the color mitten which is just like a light brown Ooh, pigment girl pigment let's start and kind of see what we get I feel like the color is very true to pan, which I really appreciate. So that's one eye done. I went in twice to the pan, knocked it off twice, and it's super pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Nell. It's almost like a burnt, purpley, where purple meets brown situation, right here in the center, and it's so stinking pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead, keep building up this crease, moving it down closer to the lid and actually keeping true to where my crease is for this color. Oh my goodness, like a little goes such a long way of that color, oh my gosh. You know what, I wanna quit looking at this palette and I just wanna go get inspired by the smoke palette here for like a second. Okay guys, I need to bend these back and I'm like afraid. Oh, okay, okay, come on, come on, don't, don't hurt, don't, don't. Okay, they do fold, they crease. So look at that, I'm willing to snap mine in half so that you don't. They do have like a nice magnetic closure. Kind of want to put like a blue undertone in here somewhere. I was, I was like toying around with either blue or purple, like PDA, which is like this fun purpley shade, burlesque or blue or blay or how, B-L-A-U-E. I don't have a prayer in saying that one right, so, the, or this blue shade right here. Um... You know, honestly, I think I'm going to go with the blue color because it's gorgeous and it's almost like a periwinkle blue. And girl, I love me some periwinkle. The main reason I'm putting this in here is I'm kind of wanting to like have some color on my lid, but I don't want to be like so over the top that I look like a groupie. You know what I'm saying? We all we all know that look like the the Mimi purple eyeshadow mixed with like groupie crazy look. Yeah, I don't want that look. So far, these shadows, they all blend together really, really well, which I'm living for. I love that, like, they're not colors that sit on top of each other. They're more, like, colors that really do just, like, meld with each other. Like, I don't feel like I just put periwinkle on top of brown. I feel like I almost put them on together, like, at the same time. So that's really, really nice. Okay, that totally changed the look, and I'm living for it. Is that not gorgeous? I was going to zoom you in, and I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. There you go. That's a little better. <laughs> you get to really see me now. I do want to go in and kind of build up the outside a little bit. So I think I'm going to take my handy dandy small little packy-ish brush. And like I've said before, I place it with this and then I go in with like a regular more dense brush and I kind of blend it out on the outside so the color stays a lot truer and right where I want it versus being like all over the place. I actually thought about doing a window look for today, like, you know, doing it on the both. I think I might do that. So for that, I think I'm going to take this dark brown, bluish color down here, this Karma. I'm like not near the pan. And I'm going to build that on the outside of my eyes. Okay, so that's super pretty. Um, I am going to go ahead and before I put the stuff on the inside of the lid, I'm going to apply a little bit of glitter glue because A, I recently discovered that it's fabulous. And B, because I love the idea of it lasting through the entire outdoor concert and not just falling out halfway through. So I'm going to go in with the shade Glitz right here. It's just like this insanely, look at that. Oh my gosh. 
it's just beautiful like iridescent it actually has like a shape where are we at here it has like a shape shifter look to it so i'm going to take it that on my finger and just like pop that right on that glitter glue now we're going to blend the edges make it look all pretty pretty so hang tight and i'll be right back oh life liberty and the pursuit of shimmering eyelids oh so we still have to do up here up into the brow bone and I think for that, I'm just going to go in with the Nudes and Roots palette. Let's go Belle, which is like a, almost like a banana color, you know, that banana um, powder color. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to blend it up here right up under the brow bone to really finish like smoking out that blue color. Now I'm also going to go back in with this little dense brush here and I'm going to go down on my bottom lashes and just kind of smoke out the outside of them just a little so the eyes I'm, they're not done obviously i will be adding liner mascara all that good stuff but before i get that far i do want to start playing around a little bit with the blush and bronzer palette um i'm not i'm gonna have to bronze my skin i'll probably use just like one of my normal house bronzers i'm sorry <clears throat> My voice is so raspy. It sounds like I was already at the concert. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to probably go ahead and bronze up my skin with those. And then we'll kind of play with these a little bit and see what we can get. But I do want to get like a nice overglow before I just go straight to the shimmer palettes. Because uh, went ahead, bronzed up my face. Ooh, child. I do want to go in and try out the, the bronzers and see like what they do, how they kiss the face. So let's kind of swatch both of them. They're not like going to be overly easy to kind of see on camera, but I do feel like this lighter one here is a better match for my skin. Ooh, maybe not. It's a little bit too, do you see those? I feel like that shimmer is what's going to kill me, but I do want to take a little bit of it. I'm actually going to pick the darker one because I feel like that's a more cool tone. And we're just going to take and swipe just a tiny little bit. So I think that the deal with this, that these bronzers is going to be more of like a sun-kissed effect. I did take just the tiniest amount and did like put it right in there to kind of give me like a good cut. And it is very pretty. I think it'll look a little more natural once I blend it out. But still pretty. Hmm. Now we get to play with blush. This is the part I was excited about. I mean, other than the eyes, of course. Let's be real. Okay, no, I lied. Highlighter. Paige, just shut up. You're excited about all of it. I really want this hot pink. Like this color right here. This like, look at that. Oh my gosh, child. Obviously I'm not gonna go in that dark, but do you see all the pigment? Like I, these things are so pigmented, it is ridiculous. So we're gonna go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like there's nothing left on my brush, that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna build. Oh wow, that's very pigmented. I can't wait to like blend it all the way out. But my first like instinct with this very pretty, very natural, very blendable, very creamy, but you also got to be very careful because you're going to end up looking like you belong in Barbie staycation over here. I'm definitely, and I've said this before, and I'll probably say it till like I'm a 95 year old old lady who like puts on way too much of every color on her face, but I am like so that person that puts on so much to start with and then I have to like blend it out. Like, no Paige, you can't wear every color. <laughs> Pick one or three. So I'm going to go ahead and blend these colors out. So hold on just a second. But seriously, that is so pretty. I just keep looking at my viewfinder at myself. Like, it's such a natural pink color. It's exactly what I wanted for today. Like, exactly what I was going for. Where'd my highlight palette go? <laughs> I found it. For the highlight palette, which obviously we swatched them, my go-to in a highlight, I'm not embarrassed to say this at all, is always the lightest shade, which is Lacy. These are velvet. Oh, ho, 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 child. Okay, so where's that fan brush? Where's that fan brush? <laughs> Let's go ahead. You always, wow, that is like whole pig, the pigment you get, child, they're not playing. So let's do this. I don't know if you guys are going to get like a good, oh, oh. Is anybody else dying? Because I'm having a heart attack. Stunning. It's actually stunning me. Oh, highlights. Oh, they give me the warm fuzzies. Okay guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you found it like as useful as I did because I actually found this pretty freaking useful. I did go ahead, I went and put on a little bit of my liner by Lottie or Lottie by London liner, hello, hello, hello. Um, my box, Buxom Mascara and a little bit of Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star on my lips just to kind of like round it all out. Um, I am loving this guys. 
Um, my final thoughts on this brand, super, super rich pigmentation on everything that I tried. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I want to feel out the blush situation a little bit more before I give like final thoughts for that one. Um, I do love the one that I tried. It went on like a friggin' dream. Like, I'm so impressed with that. Um, the eyeshadows, amazing. I put my fingers in a bunch of them. Like, I'm covered in swatches, like head to toe. And I love the shadows. I have nothing bad to say about those. And I also wanted to note, I did obviously like my full face, like foundation, concealer, setting, eyebrows, and then did this, my eyelids. So typically, you know, you'd have a little bit of fallout. I have not found one spot of eyeshadow fallout anywhere down here. None. It all stayed either in the pan or on my brush. I don't have, I didn't have any, not one drop. I've never had that before. So I was just like, okay, girl, I'm listening to what you're saying. So I think that their claims of being like a more affordable version of really high end products is a really true claim. And like, this is not a sponsored video, obviously. Um, there's nothing about me that's sponsored yet. So I'm so impressed. I mean, I'm like through the moon impressed with them. Um, I can't wait to like kind of keep working with them, let you guys know what I think and, and all that, like my final, final verdicts. But for so, so far, that highlight is just distracting the living shit out of me. I'm so happy about it. Oh gosh. Okay. So I'm going to get going because I'm going to be late and I'm still in my robe. So that's good. Um, but I will talk to you guys all later. I hope that this has been like helpful and I hope that you enjoy. If you check out some of their products, let me know. I would love to know if you found them as awesome as I did or what your experience was with them. Um, I do hope that you t take a second and check them out because for what you pay, I feel like you get, you definitely get what you pay for. So I'm going to go, like I said, social media handles and all that stuff's down below. Don't forget to subscribe because I need people that love me and I feel like if you made it all the way through this video that was probably pretty long by now you love me and and so you want to okay no just kidding but I'm gonna go for real cuz I'm tired and I'm late and I gotta go so I will talk to you guys later and that's it bye <laughs>